You know, they hold up their Bibles and they want to wrap themselves in a flag. And they want to talk about right to life. Well, you know, uh, the right to life issue to me is completely despicable. First off, no man should even have an opinion on a woman's right to choose. They don't give a about that life once it's born. They don't care if it's educated, they don't care if it's fair, they don't care if it has shelter, they don't care if it has a job with a living wage. You know, when I, when I see these, this party try to claim religion, you know, I don't know what religion or what Bible they read from, because I think they hold that Bible up, but I don't think they ever opened it. UAW President Sean Fain has some opinions on more than just unions. He thinks it's his place to blast conservatives on caring about unborn lives, on being pro-life, on following the Bible. Joining me now, Fox News contributor Ben Dominich. Ben, what was the men shouldn't have an opinion? You're a man, <laughs> and I know you've got an opinion. <laughs> Well, my opinion is that uh, Sean Fain is, is bad at his job, for one. He's a relic. He's criticizing uh, the, the right wing on these types of issues when the current debate is about how big to make the child tax credit. You know, it's, it's something that is finally, you know, being uh, central to our discussion of how much we're going to care for children. And for him to invoke this, you know, a guy who has presided uh, over the utter decline of the UAW, you know, the UAW now represents less than 150,000 auto workers in America. You know, he, he has seen the utter decline, the collapse of that union over the past uh, 20 years to the point that they're now a a trying to reach out and add other people who aren't in the auto industry. The other thing is, you know, I don't know about the Bible that he's reading from, but I seem to remember in mine reading a line about whatever you do, the least of these you do to me, which I think applies very well when it comes to the unborn. That's why so many Christians across the country care so deeply about this issue, as do I. Uh, and for him to engage in this kind of mockery, I think, it just it shows what happens when partisanship rots your brain. And I think that it's something horrible to hear from, especially, you know, from the stage here in Chicago, for an, an audience of auto workers, by the way, who I think overwhelmingly disagree with him on the issue, if you talk to any of them. Oh, absolutely, that he has stood by and allowed the current administration to put in place a, a EV mandate that's going to destroy 100,000 jobs or more. But this is about self for him to say something like this. Really? This is to say something outrageous so people pay attention to him, I suppose. And that's the only distract from how bad he is at his job, I think, frankly. Right. You know, and, and that's it's just uh, I, I found I mean, he says it's despicable. I think that he should be focused on the priorities of his workers, which is not something that he's focused on when it comes to this or when it comes to immigration policy or when it comes to so many other aspects of his job. Absolutely. I want to move on to this. So camouflage has been around. Well, for as long as we've been alive, <laughs> our troops wear it proudly. But when Democrats wear it, it's just pure genius, according to Rolling Stone, writing this. That's the genius work of this one small bit of Harris Walls merch. The hat reclaims the rural and southern identity that mainstream Democrats have long ignored. This is the effort of trying to get liberal wackos to cosplay normal people. <laughs> you know, it's funny. I I was told this topic when I was on the way uh, here already, and so that means that my camo hat with Waylon Jennings logo on it is back at uh, the place I'm staying, or else I would have brought it here. It's, it's absurd. It's saying that you can LARP and cosplay as something that you actually don't care about, and instead, you know, frankly, at the same moment, basically go back to the old clinging to their guns and religion message in terms of the message you actually have for rural Americans across the country. Right. This is two different ways, two topics that we've talked about, two different ways of saying that uh, they're bitterly clinging to their guns and Bibles. You, a basket of deplorable, yep. pick, hayseed, <laughs> redneck roots. But hey, <laughs> don't worry. We'll, we'll wear your hat. We'll, yep. we'll, we'll, uh, you know, we'll don your costume. And so now we're with you. If it's I absurd. see someone wearing a hat like that outside of, you know, a major city, I will, you know, reach in the back of my daddy's pickup truck and hand them a shotgun and say, hey, show me how to show me how to load this. And see how that goes. Yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't I wouldn't take any bets when it comes to that. Ben Dominic, it's great to see you. Great Thank to you, sir. All my love.